So while I'm working on my builds I want to do for competition QMHE this year, um, I want to do something a bit uh, quick, easy. So 170 second scale is a good start. Uh, this one's Dream Model, so it's their uh, F5V Tiger 2. This uh, was new tooled in 2020, I think. So the good thing, or one of the good things about this boxing is the amount of schemes you get. So you get eight schemes in the box. <clears throat> so you got the Top Gun Aggressor, the MiG-28. Uh, Iranian Air Force, which is a nice scheme. Uh, Royal Thai Air Force. Republic of Korea Air Force. Uh, US Air Force. Uh, US Navy. US Air Force in the natural metal. <coughs> And another U.S. Navy uh, aggressor. So, the uh, heaps to choose from. This isn't a full-on review. I'm just having a look. See, so you get a bit of VOH harnesses, and it's like uh, something for the fuselage, antenna mount, or something. So there's all your decals. So as mentioned, <clears throat> when I said something quick, you can see there's not much to it. It's, yeah, it's the old two, or the fuselage halves for the nose and it plugs onto the rear section, which is your a lot of F5s are, and that's your canopies, windscreen, and what we got with it. Oh, I was looking for more, it's just one piece of paper. So yeah, there's not a lot to it. So yeah, it's just a bit of a release of, well, it's a hobby and it's supposed to be fun, but I put, I do pressure myself to get things done and do my build, so this is just a bit of a fun release in between. I just started checking the fit of the seat and the uh, cockpit tub. I'm going to put a figure in it, and it's just a crappy old Airfix pilot. Uh, every kit I've ever built, I cut out the pilot. I'm trying them in a drawer, so I've got heaps. Uh, this guy is going to fit, but I think I have to reshape his uh, back sand it a bit just to get a better fit that he sits better on the uh, ejection seat as for the his feet length and that they're pretty much pretty close to the where the foot pedals are so not too bad I know it's a really ordinary pose his arms are molded on his body and but like I said, this is just for fun. So yeah, yes, I'm doing it in flight. Obviously, I'm putting him in there. So I'll probably my idea will be. Oh yeah, so there's the tailpipes. And here I should have. Acrylic rod. So I'll get two pieces. And. I'll uh, get timber for the base and I'll heat, heat, heat gun 
the uh, acrylic rod so the two when you do two pieces tape them together heat it so that when you bend them they bend exactly the same and I'll mount it to the base somehow but that's, I'm getting ahead of myself there I'm just checking to see that I could go that way in the can so I'm happy with that <clears throat> so I've just glued the seat in uh, the joystick instrument panel just when old mate goes in that'll cover up a bit of that so I'll just spray it all in one it's uh, aircraft grey the cockpit <clears throat> I can still put the decal on that and on the side panels I had to cut off those foot rests when I glued the seat in and fitted him it was was not not happening so now I've got him pretty good spot so I had to cut them out and I also had to file a bit inside of his legs for the uh, instrument panel and also you can see I've cut cut that away so his feet fit properly and yeah that's a mess but you won't see it if I can get it yeah the time it's uh, glued up you really won't see it down there all that uh, yeah, I'm doing it in flight like I said but I put that uh, gear well in so I can use it I'll put some uh, I'll white tack in there and when I so the door I have to cut the, the those bits the actuators off so it can fit I think it'll it should be a close fit by the time I trim it it looks like it's a pretty near Spot on fit, thereabouts. Uh, if not, well, a bit of putty or whatever. So the fuselage, which I'm liking, is just all moulded. The uh, stabilisers are one, and the wings are one. So you have to do halves. The only thing is, is I find very weird. So you got all these locating holes. But there's none on here. There's, there's two up the front. But the others aren't there. Uh, that's a bit odd. So you're going to have to, because it, it, it slides around. So you just have to be careful of that. I can't even see where they should be. So I don't know if it what, didn't mould inject properly when they were injecting the plastic or they're just not there anyway oh, I've painted up the cockpit I've put on the decals you can see the instrument panel decals pretty nice uh, side panels are pretty generic basic but once the pilot's in you're not seeing much uh, I might paint the headrest up a different color I won't worry about the cushion because you're really not going to see it I painted him up nothing special I'm not much chop at figures but it'll do the job for my purpose I've glued this together uh, also I didn't mention earlier to drill out those two holes from the inside for the arrestor hook and I drilled out, or oh, one of them was already there, I drilled out the other one even though, well I'm going to put the, uh, oh, I haven't mentioned, I don't think yet, I'm going to do the uh, the Top Gun MiG-28, I've always wanted to uh, do that aircraft at some stage uh, AFE club I think I've got it 
half sand of ram, but it's like over a hundred bucks. So I'm just going to do it in this one seventy second scale, and that will be my homage to Top Gun. So, but unlike the movie ones, I'm going to put the drop center line drop tank on it just for uh, interest because it's not going to have bombs or anything. It'll just have the side minders, and I'll put the drop tank. Uh, oh, the intakes, so they have got ejection pin marks in them, and at the end of the day, you really struggle to, to see them, but I'm going to clean them up. It's just good practice. Uh, and when I clean it up, I'll spray the interior white. And then I will uh, glue them so it just sits in that recess. I'll drop it in there and I'll just put some glue on the back. That way it shouldn't affect the inside. Uh, those decals are still, I've got setter on them that's still drying off. So I'll leave that a bit while longer before I insert that into the fuselage. And uh, put an old mate in. glued in the cockpit and uh, the fuselage half together uh, so when I did that then I tried the pilot figure again and then when you're using foreigners like that you need to check that their head's not too high and his was so as you can see, poor old mate, I cut his feet off and I've sanded him pretty much nearly all the way through just to get it low enough. So that's a uh, good fit now. So yeah, it was, uh, his helmet was too high. Uh, I've started putting the side winders together so that it's half done. You might say you, you need to put in two fins on the front and the two fins on the rear. Uh, I've had a dry fit of the nose section to the rear. It's not the greatest. It's got a bit of a gap happening on the top piece and carefully because F5s are so thin you want to bend things but you can see the top bit's got a gap going on so I might sand a bit more from the bottom Let's see if that helps push it back <clears throat> Uh, tail again is a, or the, it's a solid one piece. It's uh, I'm gonna need to glue it and hold it in spot because it wants to. Doesn't want to sit in the right spot there. On the where it meets the spine there, it's a bit. If he something doesn't want to line up, so yeah, I need to have another look at that. See if there's something failing it. I'll just put in some uh, <coughs> CA glue. So I just use a, uh, I put some glue on a bottle top, and you just pick it up and just let it run into those. Uh, Ejection pin marks. They still should nearly be dry. I mean, sitting there warm. Uh, yeah. So then I'm looking here where the landing gear would plug in. So I'll have to cut that out for the uh, door to sit there. That'll be too high. But I haven't checked yet. But I imagine that's how 
Pan out. 